Well, hey everybody. I have um, my pressure test kit installed on this side. I'm getting ready to do a leak check. When I do my uh, leak checks, I put 20 PSI in there and let it sit for 20 minutes. And if it doesn't lose any PSI in those 20 minutes, then I'm good with that. Um, because if there's a crack or something, it'll leak out faster than that. <clears throat> the reason why you do this is you're just checking for any kind of internal cracks that maybe the magna flux didn't catch or anything, any cracks um, along the um, oil pan bolt holes and stuff, um, anything around the cylinders or anywhere else, exhaust. All that, um, well, probably not exhaust because that's not into the water. Well, I guess if there's a crack, it would be. Um, so anyway, put this uh, pressure test kit on there and then I'll add the air there, bring it up to 20 PSI and let it sit for 20 minutes. And if it uh, stays, that's telling me this side of the block is, is watertight and then I'll move the kit over to the other side. When I am um, doing this, I use this Permatex sealant. It's a high temperature thread sealant and it's number 59235. And I've used this on um, all the flatheads I've built the, what is it now, three or four. Um, and it works great. I use that on my head bolts too and I haven't had a head leak or anything. So anyway, that's what I use and I got this, uh, this kit right here from Speedway years ago. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll go ahead and put some air in it and see how it goes. Well, all right. It held 20 PSI for 20 minutes, so I think I'm all good. Now it's time to remove the kit. And, um, oh, let's see. The next step is probably to clean this block up really good. Uh, with soap and water um, and then start to assemble some things and this side checked out <clears throat> I did find though that these two water pump holes that one and that one um, somebody probably stripped them out earlier and they're enlarged to the next bolt hole size but I did get them to torque to water pump specs so I think I'm good to go all right well the pressure uh, check for the other side came out good so I removed my uh, pressure test kit cleaned up the block and put some paint on it and now it's ready to go ahead and uh, start installing parts and during disassembly uh, in preparation to wash it you need to take this uh, plug out right here. This is the plug that plugs up the oil tube that oils your cam bearings. And you need to take this plug out uh, and clean out the inside of that tube. I use a rifle bore gauge. Uh, anyway, clean that out really good. So the, one of the first steps is to put that plug back in. If you don't and you put the cam in, then you can't get to it because the cam gear is right here and covers it up. If you start up the motor with that out, you're not going to have any oil pressure. So, yeah, don't forget that plug. Very important. And then the next is the uh, oil pump gear. I took that out um, to clean up this area and everything. Make sure there's no debris in there. Need to clean up the gear itself. And then I'll install that. Um, this gear is pressed into here and the way I get it out is I just put a bolt uh, there's threaded portion of the gear I just put a bolt in there and I have a slide hammer with vice grips on it I connect to that bolt with the vice grips and I use the slide hammer to pop that gear out of there um, you can do it that way or you can make some sort of device that goes across here and then put the bolt in and press it out like that if you want but I find it's quicker and easier just to use my slide hammer with vice grips. Uh, and then that's the second step, is to go ahead and um, 
clean up that gear, lube it up real good, lube this area up real good, and uh, install that. And to install it, I just use a small sledgehammer and, and tap it in there nice and easy. So here's the plug, and I just put a little bit of that Permatex sealant on there. And I'm going to get this one nice and tight. I do not want that to come out. Okay, it's in there. Next is that oil pump gear. Okay, I'm going to be installing the oil pump gear. Let's make sure that's nice and clean in there. little assembly lube in that area also put a little assembly lube on my gear here That's good. Okay, so I uh, took the cam out of the box, cleaned it up with soapy water, um, used my WD-40 on it, and then I blew it off with air. Um, I want to make sure that the cam journals and the cam bearings all match up and have the proper clearance. So the way I do that is I'll take my micrometer and set it to the um, cam journal here. Okay, I'll get that setting and then I will put it in my vise. Then I'll take my uh, my bore gauge I'll put my bore gauge in there and this is sometimes kind of tricky to keep it in there. And What I'm doing is I'm trying to Adjust this dial to zero. So that's my reference point is the diameter of the cam journals. So when I go over to my bearings, all I have to do is measure the size difference of the bearings. They should be one to three thousandths of an inch larger than the cam journal. So let's uh, go over here and do that. So there's my uh, cam bearing. So I slide that bore gauge in there and I'm looking for that dial uh, where it stops and goes the other way. So I'm getting about right there is two thousandths. Okay, and you can have one to three. So my uh, bearing clearance is good. and I'm ready to install the cam. I looked through the footage and saw that you couldn't really see the dial, so I'm trying that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in there again. And now you can see the dial right there, it's about two thousandths. So that's how you get the clearance. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and install some engine assembly lube onto the journals.
also install uh, the lube. in the bearings. Okay, go ahead and slide this cam in, making sure I don't bang up the bearings with the loads as I go through. So you just kind of go slow and easy. Spins nice. Does. I'll put lube on the lobes later on uh, when I before I install the uh, the valves. All right. I cleaned up the cam gear, so it's got a nice aluminum one. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and install that. The bolt holes will only line up one way. And it looks like I got lucky because that was the first try. Okay, and then this little uh, locking plate goes on there. And again, it will only it'll only go on one way. And you have these short little uh, shoulder bolts here that go on there. No washers or anything because this plate will act like the washer and, well, also the locking washer because it's got tabs you bend over. So I get them started with my hand. Final torque is uh, 20 foot pounds. I'm going to go to 10 first. All you do is um, bend the taps back over and that'll lock the bolts in place.
Anyway, you do that all the way around and that's going to be done. Alright, and once the tabs are all folded over on the on the um, little cam timing gear plate, I go ahead and install a washer um, right here. And that way if I flip the engine over, the cam doesn't come sliding out. So it's just a temporary thing, but that keeps that cam from coming out. Cleaned up my uh, rear uh, oil pump cover. Put a little silicone around the cover, then I put the gasket down, then I put a little more silicone on the gasket. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and install it. Like that hole is quite a bit bigger. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to find a bolt for that. I find a little bolt to uh, fit in that bigger hole, and instead of putting a lock washer on there, because I don't want it to stick out too far and interfere with the flywheel, I'm just gonna put a little Loctite on there. Alright. And after I get this installed, I'll just hit it. Hit it with some spray paint to match. Cleaned it all up. It's just it's ready to paint. I just didn't want to wait for the paint to dry. like seven to ten pounds. This engine didn't come with a lot of bolts and little accessory pieces so I'm glad I have some extra flathead parts around. Bought a flathead not too long ago that had a bad block on it so I just kept all the parts and that, that's what I'm using for this is all the bolts and stuff from that. All right let's see if I can get these things torqued down. Yep there's one. Alright, well that kind of concludes the whole cam install portion, so I think I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.